As Donald Trump prepares to trade Trump Tower for the White House, the incoming U.S. president is already telling the world something about how he'll lead. All of the extra protection comes at a price, literally $35 million between Election Day and Inauguration Day. To see the incremental changes, almost the militarization of the security. The future of the United States is being planned upstairs, but downstairs it's just kind of this press scrum. We have seen a revolving door of top officials, political officials from every party. Donald Trump having a bit of an audition here for some of the top positions in his cabinet here at Trump Tower. Vice Mike Pence is the governor of Indiana. Before Donald Trump chose him for vice president, he was facing a tough re-election battle as a result of alienating both Republicans and Democrats in his state. Lieutenant General Michael Flynn has accepted the offer to be national security advisor. Flynn roused support at the Republican National Convention with the infamous lock her up chant against Hillary Clinton. President-elect Donald Trump's new White House strategist, Steve Bannon, cuts a controversial figure. The former investment banker considered by some to be anti-Semitic, anti-women, anti-Muslim, and anti-LGBT. Donald Trump's son-in-law, Jared Kushner, to a senior White House post. Democrats on the House Judiciary Committee are asking the Justice Department and the Office of Government Ethics to review Kushner's appointment as senior advisor to the president. Three days after Donald Trump fired campaign manager Corey Lewandowski, CNN hired Lewandowski. He's been professing fierce loyalty to Trump even after being fired. The Trump campaign decided to put Chris Christie in charge of the transition. That was until they fired Chris Christie from the transition. Ted Cruz is one of the many people going in and out of Trump Tower meeting with the president-elect. And he looks forward to assisting the Trump administration in achieving his objectives. Carly Fiorina, former presidential candidate in the Republican Party, one of the fiercest critics of Donald Trump during the entire election, but now keeping praise on the president-elect. Longtime Trump advisor said interviewing Romney for secretary of state was just, quote, to toy with him, unquote, for daring to criticize Trump. Mayor de Blasio once called Donald Trump a dangerous candidate. Donald Trump once called the mayor a maniac. But today, the two men sat down together for a substantive meeting. Controversial pick for Attorney General Senator Jeff Sessions. Chairman of the Congressional Black Caucus saying that Senator Sessions' civil rights record was appalling. Donald Trump today made a long-anticipated announcement of his newest cabinet pick, tapping Dr. Ben Carson to head the Department of Housing and Urban Development. He has no real working experience to do the job. Trump met with top news anchors and network executives, including CNN's Wolf Blitzer, ABC's George Stephanopoulos, and Charlie Rose of CBS. Former Vice President Al Gore, he was set to meet with Ivanka Trump, who has reportedly decided she wants to make climate change one of her signature issues. Trump held his first meeting with a foreign leader. Sitting across from him, Ivanka. So far, he hasn't given his children any official titles within the government. Former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani has withdrawn his name from consideration for Secretary of State. For Secretary of State, Mr. Trump also considering retired General David Petraeus. The former CIA director was forced to resign for leaking classified information to his mistress. On Treasury policy, Trump selected Steven Mnuchin, a former Wall Street executive who will oversee the very industry that previously employed him. We have a new rumor today that Gary Cohn, the number two at Goldman Sachs, could be going to Donald Trump's administration, the National Economic Council. Rick Perry, the department that he wanted to destroy was the Department of Energy. News today is that Trump has appointed him to be the Secretary of Energy. It's Kanye West meeting with Donald Trump at Trump Tower. If I would have voted, I would have voted on Trump. Donald Trump is about to talk with top tech leaders in New York. Musk of Tesla, Jeff Bezos of Amazon, Eric Schmidt and Larry Page of Google. Billionaire investor and PayPal co-founder Peter Thiel. Bill Gates, richest man on the planet, uh, paying a courtesy call on uh, the president-elect. Mitch McConnell sits down with Donald Trump. Republican leaders say president-elect Donald Trump's cabinet will be approved. 
Sir, sir, you did not answer. Sir, you did not answer. To my first question. To my first question.